top grain leather. It's the nicest thing we offer, all right? This is cigar brown top grain leather. There is no leather on the planet nicer than this one, okay? This is the top of the cow, this is the skin. This shows the cow's shape of its every crease and wrinkle. Uh, any scars, any uh, discoloration will show through because top grain leather is not dyed or corrected in a monochromatic way. It is simply pigmented. Um, and so the original kind of color of uh, the hide will affect each piece of leather a little bit differently, which is why you'll see in the various panels on the sectionals or on the sack, there are slight color differences on each panel. This is to be expected with top grain. In fact, that's how connoisseurs of leather are able to spot top grain. Another characteristic feature is that it scratches and marks as you use it. And this is to be expected. You'll develop wear spots where you use it a lot, where you lean on it a lot. It might absorb the oils from the skin. It does show uh, liquid stains, and so it's important to try and keep it dry. Of course, as it stains, that only adds more character to the top grain if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a more uniform look, I'd recommend going with our standard leather that is corrected and that has a uh, monochromatic look where everything is dyed the exact same color through a different tanning process. But uh, for the discerning individual, top grain leather is definitely a very good look. Now, um, the covers come off, right? That's the great thing about sectionals. It's ironic because they're not machine washable. In fact, top grain, you really should, if you're going to use a damp cloth to clean, it should be barely damp. And uh, it really needs to just be dusted. That's the best way to care for this is to dust it. When dust collects in the ridges of the piping or in the ridges of the seams, it can act like a wicker and dry out the leather from the inside out. And that will cause cracking and uh, various distress. And so it's important to keep top grain leather dusted, keep it clean, but just use it. The more you use it, the softer it gets, the more broken in it gets. It's like a good, good baseball glove, right? Um, let's talk a little bit about the construction of top grain leather. Top grain leather is the top half of the cow's hide. How it works is when a uh, hide comes off, they actually take that hide and split it down the middle, like top and bottom thicknesses. And so this is the top half that will show all of the cow's original wrinkles, pores, uh, scars if there were any. And that's the reason that it has so much character. You can see here where it's been scratched and uh, that's normal. And that's the beauty of, of top grain for the, for, for, the, for the person who likes that really natural, really textured look. Now, uh, it is extremely durable. I mean, they, you know, they build armor out of leather back in the day. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, impervious fabric. It will last for years and years and years. Um, it will discolor and wear with age, but that's normal. As we unzip it, you can see the thickness of this top grain, the actual construction, um, double baseball stitch uh, style seams all the way around, piping around the edges. Here at the ends, of course, reinforced I can barely turn it inside out. It's so thick and beefy. Um, and that's the beauty of these top grain leather covers. They are the best that money can buy. Now, you'll notice how it's accented. This is the back side of the back pillow at the bottom, and you have this wool blend tweed panel, this herringbone tweed. It's beautiful. It's not only there to allow the pillow to breathe, but also just as a design accent. You'll find these wool blended tweed accents on all of the cigar brown leather uh, pieces. Back pillow, base frame, it's on top of the springs. Side, it's uh, on one of the inside panels of the side cover. And even the seat cushion cover has this wool blend tweed on its bottom surface to allow it to breathe, which allows the air to escape, but also uh, just because it looks awesome. I'm actually going to use this throw pillow, this top grain leather throw pillow here, as an example of the texture. You can see here how this panel over here actually has a slightly different texture and even color than the center panel and also this panel on the other side of the pillow. Uh, that demonstrates that each one of these panels 
came from a different part of the hide. And that's normal. With top grain, there will be slight color variations panel to panel. In fact, again, that's how someone with a good eye for leather can spot a true top grain versus an imitation top grain or even uh, somewhat slightly lower level full grain leather that has not uh, taken the pigment in the same way that a top grain leather will, will take a pigment. Um, there are full grains that are often dyed and corrected and they will have a one color sort of look to them, but a true top grain uh, will have an aniline dye and will, ne and will typically never have uh, exact matching panels and exact matching textures. And that's just part of the character of a really good top grain. Cigar brown top grain leather is the nicest thing that Love Sack has to offer in the leather category. Uh, hopefully there will be other colors offered, but cigar brown is such a classic look. It was not only inspired by the color of an actual cigar paper wrapper, but also by the notion of a cigar bar, of a, a rich, worn-in piece of leather that is absolutely right in the middle. It's not, it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's ready to accept all kinds of signs of wear and stains and everything that gives the top grain its true character. Now you'll notice on the sack here you've got this perforated panel. One of the whole figure eights that the uh, sack is made of, sacks are basically comprised of two figure eights. Um, one of them is perforated, has tiny little holes in it that allows the sack to breathe. This also functions to allow the leather to breathe beneath you. Um, sometimes people will complain that leather gets hot as you sit in it. Well, on the sack we've, we've combated that by perforating the panel that you're going to sit in and it also makes it so that sack, it's amazing, it sits as, as comfortably and as softly as even like a fur sack does which is amazing because leather by definition is so much stiffer and so much thicker and loftier. You'll notice also on the sectionals and on the sack, any logo work has been embossed into the leather. It's not, it's not embroidered, it's sort of pressed in there, it's very faint and it's a very classy look. Um, because of the thickness of, of, of this leather, it's actually impossible to embroider on it. And so, cigar brown top grain leather, uh, never go out of style, lasts forever and uh, is a beautiful look. The best part is because it's sectionals, you're still not stuck with it. You can always change it, you can always mix and match it with other fabrics and uh, do anything you want with it. That's the freedom of sectionals. I'm Shawnee D, inventor, founder of Love Sack, telling you that Love Sack has finally gone leather. <laughs>